Hey YouTube, Adopted Mike here, and this video I'm going to be unboxing and taking a quick look at the Gigabyte 970A D3 motherboard. And obviously, this is an AMD 970 chipset, AM3 Plus, uh, so uh, AM3 Plus socket rather. So, this does support the FX processors. Okay, so take a look at the box here. We've got the Ultra Durable 4 which is very good. This is a mid-range uh, gigabyte motherboard here. Dual UEFI BIOS. 108 decibel signal to noise ratio. Windows 8 ready. Japanese solid caps. Onboard acceleration. USB 3.0. Three times the power and SATA 3.0 which is 6 gigabit a second. Talked about that before. FX chips. 9 series chipset. Okay, there we are. Glass fabric PVC helps with the humidity. Let's look at the side. Flip it around now. We'll take a look at the back. Got some humid. There's the uh, ultra durable four. Got humidity protection, electrostatic protection, high temperature protection, and power failure protection. Some quick stuff about that. There we go, about the humidity protection there. So it helps with some short circuit protection. Electric static discharge. And then the better MOSFETs and capacitors to handle the higher temperature. Got all of those good logos. Most of them we saw in the front of the box. And then a quick picture of the motherboard itself. But that's always more fun to take it out of the box to see that. All right, well, we've got a user manual here with a driver disk inside but it's always best just to double check the internet to see if you can find updated drivers case badge okay so the manual is entirely in English so it gets pretty detailed and which is nice for the enthusiast type user got some status 6 gigabit a second cables uh, one is a right angle or there's two there, and one of them is a right angle. Got the gigabit rear I.O. or gigabyte rear I.O. shield of the standard variety. Here is a multilingual installation guidebook. And it is in multiple languages. And now we get to the reason I bought the board. Yeah, it is not for the manual. get it out of that bag. Okay, so here's the board. Okay, so what we got here is their standard blue and white layout, which is quite nice. Got some nice uh, heat sinks here. It's actually a very nice motherboard. This is but I've always been a pretty big fan of uh, Gigabyte anyway, so... Alright, we'll start off. Um, we've got on the bottom there, front panel audio, SPDIF, COM, TPM, there's a system fan there, USB, 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 this must be a higher powered USB. I that are always on. I'll have to, uh, I'll have to check that real quick. So, according to the manual, this USB port will still remain powered when the computer is in sleep mode. Then we've got uh, front panel connectors there. We'll flip around. We have a 4-pin system fan. Moving up along, we've got the 9, 8, uh, 970 chipset there. We have six 6 gigabit a second connections. I've always loved AMD because they support the most 6 gigabit connections in their, in their chipsets. 
We've got a 24 pin connector. We've got a, a 12 volt uh, fan header. Moving up along, we've got a CPU PWM fan header. Obviously, the socket is there. We got an 8 pin CPU power, so this thing has got plenty of power to juice the CPU up for some overclocking. Come around here. Just looking for the out of place fan header. I don't see another one hanging around in there. Nope. Alright. So, moving right along, we have uh, four DIMM slots here supporting 32 gigabytes of RAM DDR3. Come on to the expansion. We've got a buy one PCI Express slot with doesn't look like it, but there is just enough clearance there between that heatsink and this. Although I would be very careful that the card wouldn't short itself out on that, because man, that is close. Then we have a by 16 uh, slot, and these are uh, Gen 2. Another one, a 1, and this is a by 4 slot here. Then we have two legacy PCI slots. And moving around to the rear I.O., got a combo port, a uh, keyboard or mouse. Then we've got USB 2.0. There's two, four, six, and eight USB 2.0. We have optical out. Moving back along, we've got USB 3.0. There's two ports there. Gigabit Ethernet and 7.1 audio. Overall, a nice layout. I uh, do like the board. We've got a uh, blue PCB, as can be seen here, with white accents and light blue accents as well. So that wraps up my unboxing and quick look at the Gigabyte 970A-D3 motherboard. And as always, thank you for watching.